Good morning beautiful people! Welcome back to You Live Everything in Wonder, welcome back to Lucky Land and welcome back to day two of uh, our daily vlog. If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything in Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our mini van Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. Welcome back to our weekly daily vlog series. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. Cheers! Cheers! What a better way to start the morning with a fresh orange juice! Wow! And the cereals with the yogurt, plum cake. With the pastry for Luca. Cheers! Guys, after breakfast, today the first thing we have to do is a meeting, an interview with an Italian school, with some students of an Italian school in English. What does it mean that an uh, Italian teacher that teaches English in Carpignano says, yeah? Yes. She saw one of our videos and she reached out to us and she asked, guys, could you please talk with my students and talk about your experience, about your story and tell them how important it is to learn and to speak another language, in this case English, especially English because it's the international language. And we said, of course, let's do this because it's very important to speak with students. It's something that we love to do. During all our travels, we shared our experience with many schools uh, here yeah. in Italy, in Mexico. Thank you, Morelia. Amazon jungle. The Amazon jungle. Here they have the school, they have uh, 60 children and 3 teachers. There are children coming from other communities and they need to walk here 2-3 hours just to go to school, have the possibility to learn and to be educated. How are you? We try to share our experience. Uh, Okay, Italia. Italia! Canada! Canada! Mexico! And it's not the first time that uh, English teachers uh, use us uh, as an example, as an um, inspiring. Uh, couple that uh, we are not English, uh, English is not our first language, yeah. but we use English uh, for, uh, you know, um, travel, for videos, uh, so what they say uh, is that uh, it's really inspiring for uh, uh, the students uh, to see people that like Sarah and I. Not marathon, but they are trying. Uh, yes, and yes. even if we make mistakes, uh, even if uh, my accent is really strong. Uh, we try and we, we are still able to com communicate. We are still <laughs> able to communicate uh, with you, with the audience. Uh, and that's what matters. The goal is to be able to communicate. I think that we are a bad example because, a bad. Our, a bad because our English is not a perfect. perfect English, it's not a good English. On the other side, we are a good example because even if it's harder, it's difficult, 
you have seen all our mistakes and bloopers. Mistakes, bloopers and so on. It's very difficult to put together a video where we can say everything grammatically correct or we don't know all the words. Our vocabulary is limited. So every time we need to search uh, yes. Google, how do you say Study that word? Study and learn. So it's a challenge, but we did it and we are doing it. So this could be inspiring for people that are shy and they don't want to try. Set up the computer for the interview. Yes, also because then I have to unload Luigi. Yeah. I have all the, the sofa sofa bed and storage and today the weather is sunny but tomorrow the forecast is snow so it's better if we can do a lot today yeah especially if i have to work on the roof i need a sunny day and i don't need snow so let's see if we will be able to beat the weather yes let's do this change myself i would like to give you a little Baby bump update. Almost seven months. Starting to show a little bit. You ready, my love? Yes. Let's do it. You change yourself or you stay like this? I will change. Say hello, guys. We are recording you. Say hello to our YouTube channel. <laughs> In the future, you will need uh, to know English if you are working uh, with companies uh, uh, around the world. Maybe it is hard for you right now at your age, because I know it's very difficult and challenging to learn a, a new language like English, especially if you are not using that language every day. But guys, remember that it will be it will be the best for you if you know another language at least. And also. Even if you think that it's so, so hard and difficult to learn it right now, when you are young it's easier than yes. when you get older. Definitely. A lot of people ask us why you don't speak Italian in your videos, you are Italians, are you ashamed of your language? And we say no, absolutely no, we, we love our language, we love Italian, but in this way we have now people from all around the world watching our videos. Our goal was to travel the world, not to travel Italy. Now with the, with the pandemic, we were forced to travel Italy that we love and it was surprising, beautiful, was yes. amazing. But at the same time, our goal is to keep traveling the world and in order to do so, English is the, is the way to, to, to travel because it's the international language. We love your kind of job because uh, it's educational also for you are a YouTubers that are um, that use traveling to let people know places. Yeah. yeah. And for Italian people, uh, your videos are really uh, good uh, to improve the English. Thank so you. Being, uh, a comprehension that can be done also for our little guys. Hey, uno. How was it? It was fun. Uh, it's <laughs> always nice to see kids, especially now here in Italy. Everyone uh, is really curious about, uh, you know, people who is working in social media, YouTubers. Uh, they want. They have a lot of questions. They want to know a lot of things. Uh. I was impressed by, not impressed, but. A strange question about the haters you know one question yes. was do you get a lot of haters and it was really so, important to, to answer yeah. to them uh, that cyber bullying is really bad uh, that affect people you don't need to compare yourself with people that are working on social media because it could be fake you know it's not always real yes and don't listen to haters because you don't need to give them the power to believe that they can affect you it's it's good to give uh, and share positivity on uh, uh, on the web, but not uh, the opposite. Exactly. Okay, but now we, we need, need to, to start <laughs> our day. I will send some emails, and then you need to. I need to unload the, the van, uh, Luigi, and uh, start working. Uh, it's sunny out there, so I will try to work I'll on show the you roof. Outside. 
very sunny, it's beautiful. Here we are guys, I don't know if you remember, this is our guest slash baby room. We have our wardrobe with a beautiful mirror, our Murphy bed with the sofa and now the problem is the chimney. I don't know if you can see it from here probably if I do so. It is not a straight chimney. So we have some smoke coming out from the chimney, especially up there and up there. When we are using our fireplace, then this room, we tend to keep this door closed. This room is full of smoke. It's not full of smoke, literally, but you can smell the smoke and it's not pleasant, especially if someone needs to sleep here during the winter. It's not good, it's not healthy. So we don't care that we would like to finish this house before March, because, you know, babies, they don't care about the status of your house and if everything is finished and perfect, but we would like this house to be at least healthy and a place livable where she can stay and not, you know, breathe smoke. First of all, Luca will change the chimney. It's not an easy job, especially uh, under the roof. You will see then. This is the fireplace we are using. It has 150 liters of water all around it. So when you burn the biomass, meaning wood and here, it's, it is a biomass because uh, it is uh, the waste of cleaning all these woods uh, for preventing uh, wildfires. So the heat of the fire heats uh, the 150 liters of water and then there is a water pump uh, in here that pumps, uh, as you can see, you, you can put uh, what temperature you want the, the pump to start. Uh, we usually put uh, the temperature at uh, 50 degrees Celsius. So when the water reaches that temperature, the water pump starts uh, pumping and the water goes through all the radiators all around the house. There is one or more in each room. So this is how we heat the house. And this year, starting from October in Italy, the prices of methane gas and propane and electricity skyrocket. So we have like an increase of 30% more. So heating the house, especially that we are in the mountains with our fireplace is the best solution. Okay, so first of all, I will need to remove this part of the roof so I can work and, and I can access over there where I need to demolish. So let's start. It's always, it's always hard to take off the first ones, then it gets easier. broken also here as you can see okay here is where we will need to open this hole make it bigger and we will put the new pipe. I need to demolish this part, so I'm trying to cover it and seal 
this area, so all the dust uh, and the pieces of the wall will not go all over the house and the room. Now, as you can see, it's free. It's all free. So, now we'll go inside and remove this upper part of this, the pipe. And I will start installing the new one. The view from up here, it's beautiful. This is the roof of the house. Wow. Due, uno. Ok. Now I need to remove it from up there. So I will close this again. Break my love, then tonight we'll cook something better. But we need to be quick. Yes. Yes. The sun it's super important for what we are doing right now because the basically the roof uh, it's uh, open. So if it starts snowing uh, right now, it would be terrible. So we need to try to finish this job uh, before it starts snowing. That supposed to be happening tonight so Ooh, yes let's do it sorry guys uh, the sun is going down it's almost over the the mountain so i need to be quick i need to be fast i'm not filming every single part but as you can see i'm putting the new part uh, over here then this will be the part that will go up here. This one was the old one. Uh, as you can see, it's broken. It went with this one. So no more that. We will be putting this one and we will be coming out uh, here at least one meter over the roof. Uh, so the chimney will be up here and the smoke will not go under the roof. I need to rebuild this part uh, in order to to cover it. I'm awake. We are awake. Let's go and see how Daddy Luca is doing. How is everything going? Well. <sighs> Good job, my love. Thank you. Let's see.
we bought this tape that is made for really high temperatures so it's super resistant and we will seal the chimney yeah we will double seal it uh, yes it should be enough uh, how it is but since we bought it we will put an extra layer or of uh, ceiling I'm curious there are two different materials no no they are the same, same. but uh, with the heat uh, they change color like okay oh, okay ah, so you put it this. yeah I put the okay. uh, Thermo Camino the, 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 fire the fireplace place, uh, over there and so before they didn't have anything no they had a normal propane heater okay okay so this is the result after the color after 10 years and this is the the new one yeah but it, it becomes like this after two times that you heat it ah, okay. that the fire goes uh, here then it, it becomes that color and then you will close the room with some cement yes okay. i need to to close it with some cement and it's it's getting darker so yeah i need to be fast and it's getting colder Beautiful people, it's already dark out there. Unfortunately, I'm mixing some cement here and I'm ready to close the hole. So I will put the cement over there and get a step closer to finishing this job. I'm super tired, sorry guys. Guys, it's too cold to keep working. It's cloudy, it's windy, it's freezing, it's below zero Celsius. So for today, I close it just like this. And uh, I will finish putting all the, the roof. So if it snows, uh, it will be okay for a few days. And uh, I will show you also inside and uh, for today is all I will finish to close the roof and then I will go inside and work when it's not so cold and when it's sunny and I can see something because now it's too dangerous to keep working but it's almost uh, finished so this is a good good thing so let me finish and uh, we'll catch you inside Okay, so that's how I sealed with the cement all over the, the chimney, over there, pretty good, now I will finish sealing the roof, it's really, really small space to work here, so it's quite hard. I'm exhausted, I'm all dirty, I will take a shower baby Okay, my love And then uh, we will have dinner together Yes, I will be editing a little bit more and then I will make you a beautiful special dinner <laughs> Thank you Amore Thank you Ciao. Ciao So I'm cooking some artichokes with garlic, parsley, extra virgin olive oil and salt then I will make some mashed potatoes and some fish. Some aperitivo with breadsticks and cheese. Mmm, grissini. Mm -hmm. Breadsticks, I love it.
potatoes, some butter, and some milk. And after a delicious dinner, I'm destroyed, I'm uh, <laughs> super tired. We are eating some delicious pineapple. Mm -hmm. I'm loving pineapple. I'm not having any cravings, but I really love pineapple. I really need it. It's something I, I cannot describe. Maybe this is my craving. So one, this is one, one pineapple every two days. Exactly. Beautiful people, for today is all. We will see you tomorrow because we need to keep going, keep working. And maybe tomorrow there will be a surprise. It will be snowing. So, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? If you tomorrow. are enjoying the daily vlog, if you enjoyed today's episode, please show it to us, smashing the thumbs up button on, the, <laughs> on today's video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video. This is the daily vlog number two. And please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. And we have also Patreon. So if you're interested in supporting us, in supporting our video production, our creativity and everything, you can see the link in the description below this video. The Italian words for today's video are Tetto Roof Scuola School Ananas Pineapple, why are you doing this? <laughs> Tetto, roof, scuola, school, Anian. <laughs> ananas. Pineapple, we love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow and remember la vita bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao.